Hello there, this is Amanda Wilson of Amanda Wilson Tarot. It is Thursday, March the 10th, 2022. Welcome to my channel. I would just like to say thank you to all of my new subscribers. I do appreciate you watching and I appreciate you subscribing. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. If you have not done so already, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you. How are you doing today, Aries? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining right inside of you. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with every Aries out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there's no gender in tarot. Cut in the deck for Aries. Spirit. Bottom of the deck, the Temperance. Sagittarius energy, divine timing. First card out. Okay, Knight of Wands, my player card. Wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. As I've told you, knights are more immature than kings or queens. The Knight of Wands. <clears throat> Good looking, charismatic, fun to be with, sexy and exciting. But he can be spreading his wand all over town, male or female. Player, play it. What is crossing this? The Empress. This is Libra and Taurus energy. The Empress. She is independent, self-sufficient, divine feminine. Sitting in her throne, and what a throne it is. Sitting in her power, she knows her worth. She doesn't get out of that throne for anybody or anything. Always birthing new ideas. If you're pregnant, congratulations. Or pregnancy in your family. Um, also, new ideas for hobbies, making money. She's got a scepter and a fan. Independent, self-sufficient, divine feminine. She wouldn't put up with a player. Consciously known, the Santa Morta card. This is talking about death and rebirth. This is Scorpio energy. This is the end of a painful cycle, beginning of a new cycle. Santa Morta is death. Um, so this is, this was a painful cycle. But as you could see, she's pregnant, which means the start of a new cycle. Unconscious, the world. This is also about the end of a cycle. See her, the white reaper, she's sitting on the world. She is in white with long black hair. She got her scythe and we got yellow for swords, red for wands, blue for cups, and green for pentacles. The end of a cycle. Recent past may have been a karmic cycle. I don't know yet. Recent pa Oh, it was a karmic cycle. The Tower. This is also Scorpio energy. The Tower. This talks about a cataclysmic change. Source Spirit Universe comes down and strikes down this tower because it was not built on a solid foundation. Once the tower falls, you can rebuild, but on a solid foundation this time. The Tower. Near future, the king of pentacles, the king of money. Pentacles are earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Pentacles are coins, money. He's got his big chest of money. This person is independent, grounded, balanced, stable. A business person makes his own money, takes care of his money. The king of money. Where do you find yourself? The High Priestess. The High Priestess, more divine feminine energy. This is my witchy card. This is independent divine feminine. She's sitting in her throne. What an interesting throne it is. Sitting in her power. She knows her worth. She is empathic. She's intuitive. She knows how to figure people out. She's got a book here, candles, a scepter. In some decks, she's got a tarot card, crystal ball. She is... A witchy type of energy, and she knows how to read people, basically. So she would know that this person was a player. External influences. 
The Four of Wands, the 1111 card. This talks about the increase in the level of commitment in a relationship. Uh, this is my party card. This could be a rehearsal for a wedding or for hand fasting. Increase in the level of commitment in a relationship. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Hopes and or fears. Ooh, the star, the angel card, the wish card. What are you wishing for? Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. There is the beautiful star. She got her headdress, poncho, partly in the water. Um, she's usually shown pouring water or some kind of liquid into the water and onto the land. The star, the angel card, the wish card. What are you wishing for? Overall outcome. The Seven of Pentacles, the money tree. Pentacles are earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Pentacles are coins, money. Got the skull abacus. Um, this talks about watering your money and watching it grow. Money, money. Bottom of the deck, the temperance. The temperance. Temperance talks about divine timing. She is pouring liquid from one cup into another cup. She's got a red uh, flower in her hand or in her hair sorry she got this gorgeous gorgeous dress that i absolutely love this talks about divine timing being patient trusting that source spirit universe will give you what you need at the proper time divine timing oh we got a stalker here too page of swords swords are energy gemini libra aquarius Pages are messengers. Uh, swords are all about honest, clear communication. Um, so this person is digging up information, communication about you. This is my stalker card. I do not like this energy. Swords, air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person is stalking you. Four of Cups. Love yourself first. Cups are water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The Four of Cups. He is sad, he's indifferent, he's apathetic. He's sitting here and he's looking at these three spilled cups. But when you heal, Source Spirit Universe is always trying to give you that cup of self-love. Love yourself first. You need to love yourself before you can love someone else. You need to love yourself before you can let truly let someone love you. The Hierophant. There's more commitment here. The Hierophant. Commitment. This talks about order, tradition, stability, commitment, engagement, marriage. He's got his hat uh, with all the pom-poms. He's got this big long beard and the spirit board. Commitment, engagement, marriage. Ten cups. Ultimate abundance and love. Cups are water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Cups are, of course, about love. You've got this love shack, some property, happy family, couple, children if you want, pets if you want. Ultimate abundance in love. Beautiful. The Empress, independent, self-sufficient, divine feminine. End of a painful cycle, beginning of a new one. End of a cycle. If you have a if you had a tower here, this is the end of a karmic cycle. King of money. You figured this person shit out. I think that's why this ended. Commitment. Angel card, the wish card. What are you wishing for? Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. The money tree. Divine timing. Commitment. Ultimate abundance in love. So we started off with a player. We had the tower falling because it was not built on a firm foundation. Somebody's watching you and in a creepy way, this is my stalker card. And you may be sad, indifferent <coughs> from this tower and this player, but love yourself first. Because you've got here, at the very end, we had ultimate abundance and love. Oh, 
Oracle cards. Go the distance. I'm saying moving forward, moving forward. Um, leaving this tower behind. Mending. Working on some healing. We all need that. Fork in the road. This talks about uh, moving forward. Choosing a path. Oh, my cards flipped. Sorry. Love cards. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. We all have different spiritual paths. In my humble opinion. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Well, if that's this player or that stalker, then... Then you're the one who cut them out. Attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. The moon. Yeah, this makes sense. Pisces energy. Secrets, deceptions, masks being worn, and the truth coming to the surface. And the justice. Oh, restraining order. This person is more than just a casual stalker. The justice, you have uh, had to bring this to court, it looks like. That's always what I, when I have the justice and the stalker card together. Restraining order. This talks about being involved in a court case, divorce, child support, restraining order in my opinion. And this person, this is justice, the justice energy, Libra energy. Um, also, this person has a scythe, which talks about cutting something or someone. I think you cut this person out. You pl player card, tower, stalker, with the justice, get a restraining order. Um, you don't need this person bothering you. Stalker could be the same person as the player, I'm not sure. And... Um, it looks like you are getting over, I'd say you've gotten over uh, this um, heartbreak from this person. Independent, self-sufficient, divine feminine, the, pre the empress, end of a painful cycle, beginning of a new one, end of a karmic cycle, beginning of a new one, the king of money, the high priestess, you figure this person's shit out, commitment. The angel card, the wish card, the money tree, divine timing, commitment, ultimate abundance in love. Go the distance, moving forward. Mending. You might still have a little bit of healing to do. Fork in the road, moving forward, choosing a path. Religious factors. Separation. Attraction. This separation is from this stalker, and attraction is new energy. And we had the moon, secrets, deceptions. That's why with the high priestess and the moon, you figured they're, what they were doing behind your back out. And the justice, Libra energy, restraining order. So yeah, I would, um, I would suggest a restraining order. Um, we had independent self-sufficient energy and we had witchy energy, commitment, the star, the money tree, divine timing, commitment, abundance and love. All right, Aries, have a great rest of your day. I will speak to you soon. This is Amanda Wilson of Amanda Wilson Tarot. Bye for now. If you like my video, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you.